What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 16th Python tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys the sort method. It's the last method we're going to learn for now. And also uh, about something called tuples, which is like a list but even worse. So, um, the first thing I guess we're going to need to do is create a list. I'm just going to name my new and create any values in it, any amount that aren't in order. So 22, 7, 98, 1. Go ahead and press enter and now we have a list called new. Now to use the sort function you need to type in the name or the object and type in sort and then type in any or actually empty parameters and what this is going to do is give you a sorted list. Now it doesn't return it to you, it just sorts it for you. You actually have to call it to return it like that. So again anytime you want to use a sort function you press uh, just like any other method, keep calling methods functions, you put the object name, the method name, and empty parameters, and that will sort your list for you. And again, you, it isn't just um, lists you can sort, you can also sort, um, what are they called, strings. So go ahead and press sorted for this. It's a little different, and then in here, you can type in the name of a string. Uh, let's type in something like easy hoss. And as you can see, it now, wow, actually Easy Hoss is almost in alphabetical order. E, A, wow, that's uh, kind of impressive, actually. But anyways, back to the point before I was mesmerized. In, as you can see, capitals first, and then the lower cases are all sorted out. And this is using the sorted function to sort a string. Now, enough with the methods, because I taught you guys like 800 methods by now. Now I want to move on to something even more boring than methods, and that's something called tuples. Now a tuple is the exact same thing as a list, but the only difference is it can't be changed. So in order to make a tuple, all you have to do is separate some values with commas. So something like this, and bam, you have a tuple. And an alternative way of writing a tuple is to surround it with, uh, what are these, parentheses. So um, you can have a tuple called Bucky and we don't have a list called Bucky already I hope and you can have it equal to some values and just like that and bam you now get the Bucky tuple and again you can't modify or add elements or delete elements from a tuple it's not like a list you ha you pretty much the only thing it's good for is pretty much calling back your values so now that we made a thing called Bucky 32, 32, 43, 54 the only thing we can really do with this is get our values back like Bucky 2 that would still be be able to be called 43 0 1 2 3 so unlike a list where you can change um, or add elements or delete them or do all kinds of neat stuff with them the only thing a tuple is really useful for is to call your values back so it kinda sucks but I just had to teach you guys because it's a thing in Python so I thought you guys should know even though I'd rather not so again anytime we use sequences which we'll, we we will be using a lot we're going to be using list but i just had to tell you guys so there's a tuple and uh pay attention your sort methods we'll be probably using those shortly but uh i guess that's all the methods i'm going to be covering right now so thank you guys for watching uh make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out my next tutorial it's going to be quite useful so again thank you and i'll see you then